It's here, it's now, it's game day. And here we are once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It is another all or nothing Letcher of Garden City Eagles. As we welcome Tame United Reserves, who will be travelling down the A40. It'll take them about an hour and 20 minutes to pick some more playing fields, where it's Letcher of Garden City Eagles v Tame United Reserves in this Spartan South Midlands Division 1. Just uploaded a video last night. How long is this season? Why can't it be like the Greenland Football League? Their whole season is over in a week. Six teams playing in five days. I will take that all day long. You imagine all that time to do pre-season and you will be fit as fuck. But anyway, that's another chatting. Bollocks. Let's get into football news. <laughs> So Tame United Reserves finished 14th last season on 42 points. They currently sit 16th after 13 games on 9 points, where they've won 3, drawn none and lost 10. This is Calvin Evans' first season in charge, where he's currently had 13 games, winning three, drawing none, and losing 10, because I just said that. But it gives him a win percentage of 23.077. Very technical. <laughs> this is how Tame United Reserve's Danger Man stats look. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. The 7th of the 8th, 2021, Letcher of Garden City Eagles 1, Tame United Reserves 3. River with our only goal. A familiar name coming off the bench for Tame Reserves there who scored against us. So, I've remembered to do it this time. Let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's... Let get the fuck out of here. Out the Eagles! <laughs> Nathan noticed it as it was happening. Obviously, Matt got it on camera, commented on it. Our goalkeeper's commenting on it. Everyone saw the fact that we're not being brave and putting pressure on the ball, really, especially in and around our box. There's a phrase called fight or flight. We've got too many flighters. Fighters are on the front foot, whether that you be in defence, midfield, or up top. Our first option is to do that. That's not being brave. The more times you go backwards, the more territory you're given, the more stretched we are, and then we can't get out. When you speak about it, when you was born, you had sight, you had hearing. If anyone's got a disability, I didn't know about it, so no disrespect. And you had a ability to be able to speak. You've honed in on these skills throughout your life. So please make this make sense. Why on the football pitch, you guys can't talk? Why on the football pitch, you lot can't see an easy pass? Someone's giving you information you don't listen to. He could be standing from here to map and I have to scream at this guy three times for him to actually acknowledge and turn around and look at me. You're not aware of what's around you. You're playing football blindly. You've got to utilise the senses that God gave you depending on what religion you're in. All of you can talk because before I walked in, everyone was talking. I need to hear you from the sideline. I need to see it. So today I want to see three things. I want to see you on the front foot. I want to see you people's faces. I want to see you listening to information. I want to see hear you giving information. We've been scoring a lot of goals, but we defend like crap. If you look at our stats, even last year, the amount of goals we're conceding is actually criminal. And we're looking to progress. Defensively, as a unit, we're not enough. You've got to see where the danger is and engage. At certain times, you're going to have to put your body on the line. Defender, if you want to stay on your feet and stay dry and clean, it's not what defending is about. Defending is putting your sleeves up and going to war against your opposition. <laughs> There's a 
a split in within the football community whether you can teach someone to have a football brain or not. That's why when you're watching pros play and you look at him, you think, oh, fuck me, how is he a pro? He might not have this, but he's got that. It compensates for this. Can you teach it? Yes, you can teach it. You've been taught to do your jobs. You've been taught how to walk. You've been taught to listen to your parents. You've been taught many things. Brain is a complex thing. So you can be taught a football brain. You've got to want to be perceptive to it. We can only teach you if you're showing that you want to learn. Last thing. This week, someone asked me to have a look at our player. And he wanted me to treat this player differently because of his race. That's bullshit. Now, I'll treat everyone the same. I don't care what your sexual orientation is, what your religion is, what kind of you are. I do not give a shit. So when you come off the pitch, it's for footballing reasons only. It's not personal. Now, the problem is, some of you got people that invested in you, your parents, your loved ones, your girlfriend, your mates, who want you to do well in football. And when I drag you off the pitch, it's negativity. Listen, it's not my fault you come off the pitch. It's your fault because you're not doing what I ask. It's your fault because you're not playing well. Don't give me an excuse to take you off the pitch. If you were all consistent players, I wouldn't need the squad. But you're not. You need to now understand that. If you're not playing well and I have to put someone else on the pitch, don't be sore at me. Don't be sore at any of your teammates. That's for you to go away from the game, think about and analyse your own performance to then improve. This is what football's all about. I could be a Sunday league manager and guess what? I pick all my mates. I pick him and him because I've known him for 15 years and they'll be playing no matter what any of you guys do, they'll be playing every week. But I treat them worse than all of you. Please believe that. They know the standards that I want and I've seen the standards that they've got and at the moment they're not living up to it so that's why some of them are not playing. So I ain't got no friends. Believe that. You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Emotional damage. I ain't got no favorites. <laughs> we can only succeed if we're a team unit and we understand decisions I make are going to be hard. The information that I get, I have to take on board, and we hear and we win and lose as a team. Get your heads on it because we need three points. <laughs> To look up at me looking down at you, looking at you as men. And this is what we have to be on me. We have to be men. We have to be brave. And you know what? We're going to make mistakes. That's fine. We'll make mistakes doing the right things. And that's being on the front foot. I'm very much that this team's going to come and knock the balls in channel. If they do, we have to be adjust. But as they're playing football, we're going to be in their faces. We're going to win the ball back. And we're going to attack as a team. We got that? Yeah. Why everyone put it out of it? Eagles on three. One, two, three. Eagles! Yeah! Yeah! Darryl Reed, goalkeeper. Flag has just gone forward. No Sunny, defender. Benson Thomas, defender. Leo Knox, defender. Sam James. Danny Charles, midfield. Colin Charles, midfielder. Harry Bellamore, midfielder. Sonny Coughlin, midfielder. Why you got sent forward? Richard Marvel, defender. Luke Schimmel, midfielder. Tyrese Oates, defender. Georgie Williams, the throw up. Do you want a balloon, Georgie? Referees give the signal for us to get the game underway. Hopefully we can have a better performance than we did on Tuesday night. First attack from Tamers the corner as he whips in. Uh, six has got above a doy, but he was marking number nine. So who was marking number six? He came out of nowhere. Doy to the Kiwi International, looking for his options. As he plays in to remain Usain Bolt, and he's left number two for dead, and he's off. You ain't catching him, mate. There's more chance of me going on a diet. As Flav tries to cut in, can he get a shot off? It's reflected. Take about the cherry. Left foot over the bar. There was options in the box, but Flav decided to go on his own. Number nine for Tay Bamber to turn back as he has no options, but he's cut out by Trotty, who will play it into a doy. Into Danny. Over to the remaining Usain Bolt, and he's off again. Here we go. Total football. <laughs> Give up, lads. You might as well let him run. Outside of the boot, it's been intercepted. He saw shoot on sight, making his way into the box. Ball's being bounced around at the moment. As Flav will collect, we'll play this back into the Kiwi International. Over to Slabhead. Where's his options? Into Sammy James. Back into Trotty, looking for his options. That's taking an oral bobble away from H. Daryl to clear. Look for Danny. That's a push to the back ref. You're looking right at that, but you looked away quicker than I can place my order at best kebab. The remaining Usain Bolts off again. Two players are trying to double up on him this time. You've got no chance as he cuts in on number eight. Lucky deflection off of number two. Little cut back. Played it into the menace. First time effort is taking the deflection. As Tame looks to recover. Drag this ball forwards. Number nine wants it to feet. Let's have a little look at the close feet here. But it's broken down by the who? Who is it? 
It's the Kiwi International. He's marching forward. He's played a one-two into shoot on sight. He don't fancy it from here, does he? He's only gone. Ah, oh, he's gone and locked him. Look at that. Can you believe it? Talk about start a move and finish one. Free kick to Letchworth as it's played into shoot on sight, who still thinks he's playing for Tane because he's done a defending header. You're supposed to do that in our box, not their box, you sausage. A little bit of drama has unfolded as Tane on there reduced to 10 men. The referee has gave him his marching orders. And here it is from another angle. Originally he was sin binned. Reason, he didn't have a captain's armband on. As he's off, he's taking his shirt off. He's seen his armband, still on his arm, and that's what he's just thrown at the ref. He's thrown his armband at the ref. The referee's decided to say, none of that, son. Off you go. A long ball played over to shoot on sight. As he chests it down, edge of the area. He's had a shot on sight. Tain reduced to 10. Can we double the lead as the menace is played into shoot on sight? And it's saved by the keeper's legs. He should have done better with that one. Danny to nick this. Play it into the remaining Usain Bolt, who looks to lift this. Over the top to shoot on site, who's ducked well before the ball's even reached him. The menace has had a shot. Short this handball ref. Yes, it's a penalty. Tame cannot believe it. But it is all day long a penalty. In all fairness, I think we should be awarded 10 penalties for that. Disgusting behaviour from a footballer. It's just not acceptable. You've got yourself down to 10 men and now you want to give penalties away. The referee has blown. The menace has stepped up from 12 yards. It's saved. Oh, hang on. Quick to the rebound. Yes, it's 2-0. Well done. <laughs> Very slow to react from Tame players. Shoot on site, almost there to nick it just in case. Number 10 for Tame looking to bring this down and take on Sammy James. He has faked once, he's dropped the shoulder, he's beating him. He's got a shot off and Daryl will push for a corner. They've taken a short corner as they knock it back into number 8. Looking for it. I'm not sure if that was a cross or a shot, but either way that will be a goal kick. Free kick to Tame just before half time as 8 whips that in. That's away by the Kiwi International. And with that, the referee does blow for half time. 2 0 against a pretty ugly side, but then we don't stay with we go all over the place. I don't understand it. Theo, you're absolutely right, but you today. I give you a young player, but every time the ball's in around you or you put the ball in your feet, my heart goes. Just something that needs to be addressed. Sammy get beat too much, too easily. In the middle of the park, I get a question from Sammy. Right wing back, people dancing around you like the music's playing. Don't understand it. I've got Sonny, who's up there for a reason, so he can express his skill set. He's isolating the player here. Running, 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 isolating him. Open up and then pass the ball right away across there instead of going for goal. Not too sure why you made that decision. I need you to be direct. In the middle of the park, Nathan's doing a lot of good talking for you. We've got a ball here. Danny he might get the ball, he's screaming, switch the pace, switch the pace, no, five, six yard balls right there. Then all the space out wide, all the damage has come down the left side. So we have to use a bit for the pitch. The ball is on all day long. They got a man down, up front, you're being busy, you're doing bits, you're not doing enough for me. We're still too deep. I don't understand it. I do not understand it. Adoy, please, you should be a pro. When you come here, anyone comes here with a CV, you've got to live up to this CV. Whether you talk or not, if you're at a pro game, you've got to use your voice. I'm asking you to demand the players to stay high. I've got to push the midfield. Get off my toes! Get off my toes! So we can push up so that they can engage higher up the pitch. But it's not happening. But it needs to happen. We're playing against a poor side. If we're playing against a good side, we'll be in trouble today. You would have put us in trouble as well. Second half, I expect you to fucking smash your team to pieces. I will be making changes because I'm not happy with what's going on. Second half, be brave. Be more attacking and utilise the pitch properly. The shape's been a bit better, make sure we're not staggered. We've worked out the last sort of 10-15 minutes, we're not covering around. If a pass ain't on, don't force a pass. Just turn around, just fucking recycle it. We need to go back to task. And the referee signals for Tame United reserves to get this second half underway. Corner to Tame. As shoot on sight is decided to wrestle with number six. That could have been a penalty as the ref was looking at that, but Dempsey was beaten for the header. The Malik from 35 yards out. Number six to stick his bonce on that one. Don't know where the keeper's going. Corner to Letchworth. As shoot on sight's missed it. Number six has played it into the path of him. He's dived right in shoot on sight and given away a free kick. I'm not sure why he can't believe that. That's a book. Doyd's play this ball forwards. That's into the path of H who has a touch. That's a beautiful one as he drags it to the side. The shot off. Would have been a beautiful goal there. Danny to play this over to Sammy. Sammy looking for his options as he plays the ball into the box. Keeper's dropped it. Anyone quick enough to react? I knew the keeper is. Free kick played in by Tame. As the Doy wins the first header. Daryl. Well, that's a foul, surely, ref. What are they trying to do? Get themselves down to nine men. Get the game abandoned. Sammy looking to play the ball into the box again. Over to the top to Gorgeous George, who's knocked that back to Mullet, who's added a touch. Into the menace, who laid it off to Danny. And that's a save by the keeper. And that's a strong hand to push that wide. But it was offside. 
Marvellous. The menace has just been put through. He's running wild. Three players around him. And he's put it in the back of the net. He scored two on a day. It's 3-0 Letchworth. We are going to piss this World Cup in Qatar. Southgate, here's your boys. Don't pick 72 fucking right backs. This is the squad you need to be taking. Tame are not giving up yet as they are looking to try and pull one back even though they're down to 10. Should be down to 9. As the deflection plays over the gorgeous George. Referee, come on. What is this? They are definitely trying to get it abandoned and down to 8 men. The menace is definitely running wild as he looks to cut into this box. He's just over the bar. He could have had that trick today. And that's the end of that. Legend of Garden City was free. Tame United reserves now. Granted, three points. That's what we come here for. And that's what we got. It's been hard. Stop it. We done what we needed to do. But we have to try and take on the good things from the first half into the second half. On Tuesday, I'm not giving you the time off. We've worked hard as a team to be in this position. And we have to keep the moment going. Matt and Vin. You know what's going oh. right? <laughs> So maybe let, let Nate drive it. Because yeah. you know what's coming. Get that song. H, a 3-0 victory today for the lads. Good round performance. How do you think you performed? How do you think the lads played? I think personally, started off slow, but the second half I feel like I come into the game and got more and gave it everything I got. I think the lads were brilliant today. Considering we've had a couple of tough results previously, I think today we really showed our class and finished the game off for the three points we needed. You've matured a lot since the beginning of the season. Now you seem to be making that position that you're playing in your own. Are you enjoying your football a lot more now? Yeah, I'm loving it. Number 10 is the one I really want to play. I feel like I can help the boys the most there and just honestly I'm really enjoying playing there. A 3 0 victory for the lads. A very good way to put Tuesday's poor performance behind us with a 3 0 convincing win. Even with Tame going down to 10 men, I don't think we was troubled. Probably got me one of the funniest and worst sending off I've ever witnessed in my life. It's just a shame we don't have a game on Tuesday night. Yeah. So we're back to training on Tuesdays and Thursdays where we've got a few things to work on. You know what to do. Make sure you do the usual stuff. Richard, get that song on! <laughs> Bye.